What's up guys and welcome back. Uh, we got the RX-7, both the RX-7 set up here. As you can see, we have the end on this side and we, we put this RX-7 there on that side. We're gonna go in and get ready to prep this RX-7 and take out the rear end for this, which I know is gonna be a big job, but uh, I re I'm really dreading doing this job. We're gonna take out the whole rear end here and we're gonna swap it to the white one so that way this one will be drift ready, hopefully by the end of this month. Me and uh, old boy Peanut over here, we're gonna try to tackle this problem and it's gonna be fun. I mean, I did say rear end, so this is gonna be part of the rear end, I mean, because I'm gonna need this. So I'm gonna ask my buddy uh, Drew to uh, help me repair this thing right here because he's good at repairing fiberglass stuff. This thing took on so many fucking walls. It's still fucking good. I mean, you, you were there. You seen it, right? Me? Yeah. I was kind of late to the party when you hit the wall, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it, it survived though, it survived. <laughs> I mean, if you look at it right here, it, it's still there, it's good. You know, it's definitely repairable. I'm all over the AC, or not, that's an AC. That it's, that's good. Yeah. JP Fiberglass, all right? Fiberglass, yeah, yeah. yeah. From, was it Dominican Republic or Puerto Rico? I, I think Dominican Republic, that's what it is. Oh, it looks so weird <laughs> without a it spoiler. Looks so weird without it, right? <laughs> And skinhead motherfucker here. Well, shut up, I'm here. I do all the work here, okay? Master mechanic over here. <laughs> Certified mechanic. Today's subject. Racist. Slavery. They must be like, ooh, modern technology, why are you using my switches? So pretty much got to take these two out for the diff and the ones over there and that one over there. That should bring down the whole subframe with the diff. Maybe I could pressure wash this or clean it, I don't know. Never need y'all subframes taken out by a professional. Hit me up. Weird angle. <laughs> Woo. This is where the subframe riser is gonna go. Oh, it's gonna be hell. All right, so we finally got the whole rear end out. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, next step will be me cleaning this thing up, and the subframe riser is gonna be going here. You know my PBM parts and the spherical bearing. I'm gonna have to go here. After that, we're ready to put it back on and call it a day. Fucking RX-7s are stupid. Stupid. One I'm camber not, I'm arm? Stupid. I'm One gonna, camber I'm arm? Shut the fuck up, Oh, 
Okay, so upon inspection and after watching a video on YouTube, I realized that I put on the um, rear diff bushing backwards or downside up when it should have been upside down. Here, I'll show you guys. This part, this, this part right here should be underneath this thing, okay? When I installed this three years ago, uh, I thought I put this thing the right way and after watching Colette Davis's video, they made the same mistake of putting this, this part right here on top. So they had to take it off and pretty much put it from this side. So pretty much this eliminates the need for this bushing because before I had it right here and I actually believe that this what causes that clunking under my uh, subframe uh, whenever I turn because, you know, as you can see, this part is soft and you'll have that much space underneath it even though I cranked it up all the way and tightened it so much you still have that space and this thing like wiggles or like you know it stretches because it's still rubber I need a flathead I was having a hard time taking this thing out because it's got a groove here and a straight edge here it's so weird I mean it's, I guess it's to lock it up you know but it won't move anywhere. Oh well, so that one's out. That's a 14. Walk the dog, buddy. Walk it from here, dude. Okay. Dude, this is like... Ah, oh, you can smell that fucking diff fluid. Dude, look how it was. Look at this thing. It's oozing out there. Yeah, the seal's like fucking old. <laughs> Timber. Damn. Damn. Why am I doing this? Why can't I just be home and just relax and, you know? Not have to fucking worry about this shit. Interesting. I told him to do this months ago, months ago, and and and, and now, now now he's doing it. There you go. I don't even know how I'm gonna take this thing off. Right. <laughs> Being a mad scientist is gonna rip everything apart. I know that this is gonna be hell. I guess we're just gonna do the press. I just had. We're having a problem taking the bushings out. I guess we can't do the press. So. almost two o'clock yeah. it's already two o'clock and they said it'll take like 30 to 40 minutes to completely burn off and after that we could just like you know grab the two pretty much like metal part inside and just push them together and you'll it'll be out that thing's going look at that it's <laughs> super red on camera though that shit's crazy hey there'll be a photo op right here actually oh my fucking god all right guys i gotta yeah okay Well, look who we got here today. Right from the cave. <laughs> Hi. You're finally out and about. I know, right? So what are we doing today? Cutting this 
rubber piece. Out. Yeah, so we, we drilled this. We drilled this, uh, gave it some space, and that way it's easier for, uh, for him to cut it around. And, you know, that'll take out the center part of it. So this thing actually have slit already. They actually have two slits. You see how it's that one's like separated? We just need to come and like, you know squeeze it. So we finally got it. I didn't get it in the video, but um, we we were able to cut around it and uh, hammer it out. And now all we gotta do is kind of like pinch it a little bit and take it out. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna be easier now, but we'll see. Slowly working and working on it, like around it. Trying to lift that metal piece underneath it. We need peanuts weight here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that thing's not gonna move. I know, right? <laughs> So we finally got the subframe bushings and now we're doing the uh, trailing arm bushings here. So what I did was take out the, the rubber piece right here and just drill it out because there's like two pieces here. So. Well, you know, I'm getting old. I want to do all that stuff, so. Um Next up, I just need to tell people this fucking blowtorch this bitch. That's all there is to it. So we lit the rubber on fire, the bushings, whatever you call it, and you know, where's that piece? This was inside, you know, and uh, the rubbers were already like disintegrated because the, you know, we lit it on fire. So I took it out, you can see that's the other half of the bushing. All I gotta do, drill it around it, just to, you know, make the rubber disintegrate even more. And all I gotta do is just hammer it out. Is this gonna come off with one hit or what? Because we already made the rubber loose. 
All right, ready? Well, just watch out, though. Oh, there you go. So I'm jacking off you've been doing it. <laughs> I mean, uh, me and Andrew, we just kind of wire brushed it a little bit earlier with a drill because it was like, you know, it was uh, full of rust and stuff. Mm. So I mean, it should be good. And when you tighten it, it's just gonna be there. It's gonna be sitting there anyway. So this thing's gonna do its job. That should be good. I don't have to press it in. It's been a while since you put a finger in a hole, how is it? I mean, last night with you. Hey, Chad! <laughs> <laughs> It looks somewhat decent. Yeah, at least we were able to take out the, the gunk out, you know, all the dried up the oil and shit like that. All right, well, we're done here. Looks somewhat decent. All right, so for those of you who's gonna do this uh, spherical conversion. So what I was saying before, you know, I thought I'm gonna have to shrink this and put it right here, but it's not shrinking at all. Now you see your grooves in there. Is this a sleeve? So it is a sleeve. I just got confirmation from people on Facebook, like I said, and uh, North Dakota car guy. All you guys gotta do is punch these out with, you know, like, you know, like some solid chisel or drift punch, is that what they call it? So no problem. Don't need to freeze it. Slide it in, you know. I'm gonna clean it first, but yeah. One punch. Yeah. One punch. You think I can get it with one punch? Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, look at it. Done. That's flushed. All right, guys. If you guys need anything, press. You guys know who to call. Oh, now you want to fucking do it? Wow. <laughs> yeah. A hundred dollars an hour. Oh, so. Jesus. And we're gonna you and be here for a while. Yeah. So, all right. So this is just gonna be the same thing on the other trailing arm. So it's really simple. As long as you guys have everything lined up, it will go down. That's how you take care of the FC trailing arm, spherical bearing conversion. Easy. Not really, but I mean, it took us like, I don't know, a week to. <laughs> <sighs> well, for you guys, it's just gonna be like, what, 30, less than 30 minutes of episode, but it will actually take more than a week. Have fun. Fast forward to us uh, assembling the uh, the rear subframe because we're gonna put everything back in so that we could swap the uh, subframe from the YFC, the gray one. So what we've done so far, after we put on the bearings, uh, we pretty much everything goes back how it was before. Uh, just gonna make sure that you have to torque it from this side not here or you're gonna end up uh, rotating this thing because this part right here is built in with this bolt, uh, the head of the bolt, so. That's good right there. Rear end 
pretty much done. All we gotta do is, all we gotta do now is pack the uh, differential and put it back in here and we're good to go. And then when you have this type of job, you gotta do, especially like, you know, take out the stuff from your diff cover, you gotta get somebody who has ADHD to do it. <laughs> you get an Exactly. <laughs> you gonna make it perfect? Try to. Try to? Okay. Uh, Alright, yeah. so <laughs> we got Ari right here. Thank you for uh, helping us out earlier for filming us because you know, Peanut's not here, so you're the substitute. Period. Oh, Alright, and we got Ethan here. We might get some food and get the uh, sealer and then put that shit back together. Alright. You say you trust Peanut with your car. I don't. You sure? He worked on my car already, so if anything happens to my car while I'm drifting. It's peanuts. Well, the whole yeah. sofa ain't gonna fall out. Uh, yeah, hopefully not. Peanut touch this? Uh, yeah. You touch? Oh, man. What are you doing? <laughs> We're just gonna clean up this shit. This thing is a hazard. I guess that this thing is a hazard. <laughs> Cooking rotary s'mores. There you go. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was eating my burrito while uh, watching this nigga commit crimes. Too many. Soak it down. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Hold it. Three seconds. Three seconds. <laughs> nah, that's it. That's good. We're good. We're good. Man, weird. Here, boy. Captain Kenyu. He's the one that looked like Diddy, bro. Go after him, bro. The Diddler, bro. What's up with the lotion, though? Hey, man. And he's a rich guy. He can be a sugar daddy. <laughs> he's a rich guy. He <laughs> got more money than all of us combined. Shit. I'm gonna grab my little burrito. That's right, blow on it, baby. <laughs> Look, damn. Oh, cut. cut. I didn't know he was cut. like that. Let me get some of that mic. Mm. <laughs> some Filipino lumpia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. I'm finna go home. Peanut, get the camera, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. Get what? the camera. What? Get the camera, bro. Then go home. He's getting freaky out here, man. <laughs> so we finally have the differential sealed. Uh, we left it overnight, and it's um, sealed pretty good. It's dried up already. It's cured. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing bolted up into the subframe for the FC guys out there. If you guys are having a lot of play in your diff, I want you guys to pay attention to where your front diff mount is bolted in. If you see this part here, that's a tab for the locking washer for this front diff mount bushing. If you guys see this and it's like flattened out or straight up or sometimes they even break, that's most likely where your diff play is coming from because this single tab right here is holding this whole thing right here all right with with this locking washer make sure to pay attention to that because it was kind of like flattened out so i kind of creased it uh 90 degree so i'm gonna go ahead and put this right here there we go give it some good torque because you don't want that that's definitely Yeah, finally got what up, here. What up? What up? Finally got here with my car. He's finally here and you know, I got this thing taken care of. All we gotta do is literally drop the subframe on this thing and swap out that right here. We uh, got the car up. Pretty much took out the exhaust as you can see here. And we're getting ready to drop the subframe here and swap this subframe.
So we finally finished putting this subframe, rear subframe, and differential and all the whole thing. We're actually going to stop it right here because uh, we're running out of time and we're both freaking tired. But uh, all we have to do is pretty much like install the uh, calipers and the drive shaft. Yeah, not a lot of like work left to do. So it should be ready sometime this week. But as far as the rear subframe goes and other parts like the bushings, everything's in there and that's all you guys need to, to know about changing the, uh, the subframe bushings and all that rear end subframe. So hopefully I help you guys out with changing out the rear subframe. And also I just want to give a shout out to my buddy here, Peanut. Bro, thank, thank you for helping me out, alright? Yo, yo, so yo, this guy yo. always comes in clutch and we pretty much like did this in like two hours but in a span of like what two weeks so and thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video okay so upon infection <laughs> infection you ready I'm about to break some shit. Oh no. Easy peasy. Already loosened it for him. <laughs> <laughs>